Three years ago, Liani Rodriguez was a very sick baby. Her heart was failing and the prognosis was poor. Her mother, Swanee, watched helplessly. They say uh, she won't make it to wait for a heart transplant because she's, she's getting uh, sicker and sicker every day. But Liani was lucky enough to get an experimental device called the Berlin Heart. The device takes over the heart's job of pumping blood. A tube implanted inside the heart channels blood to the pump, which sits outside the body. It then sends blood directly to arteries supplying the rest of the body. This is Liani today. She just celebrated her fourth birthday. The four months she spent on the Berlin Heart bought her the time to receive a transplant. Dr. Charles Fraser of Texas Children's Hospital is the lead researcher for the device and operated on Liani. It's an amazing feeling. Liani would not be with us uh, prior to this uh, device being available. She would have languished and you know the likelihood that she would have been transplanted was extremely low. Liani was one of 48 children who received the device between 2007 and 2010. 90 percent survived to get a heart transplant. In contrast, a recent study found that only 62 percent of children receiving conventional medical support lived long enough to get a new heart. The results led to FDA approval in December and even surprised the researchers. We all believed that the patients were going to do well, but we didn't, I, I certainly didn't believe more than 90 percent of them were going to do well. John LaPook is uh, with us. Uh, uh, John, I, I guess we'd never stop and think about this, but it must be very difficult to get the hearts that these children need. So this does make a difference. Absolutely, Bob, because think about it. You can take a big heart that goes in the chest cavity of an adult and put it in the tiny chest cavity of a baby or a kid. There simply aren't enough of these tiny hearts to go around. And in fact, the average wait for a kid to get a heart transplantation is two to three months. So for them, this Berlin heart can be truly life-saving, what's being called a bridge to transplantation. Man, thank you, John.